Well, believe it or not, the holidays just right around the corner, which means we should be preparing for winter viral season as well. Health experts expect bacterial infections that cause pneumonia to increase, and this has led the CDC to expand its list of who should get vaccines to prevent the infection. Our medical expert, Dr. David Winter, joins us to explain those new guidelines. Dr. Winter, thank you as always for joining us on Midday. So why the need for these new guidelines on pneumonia vaccines, and are those cases really increasing across the country? In fact, pneumonia cases are going up, Chris, not only in the elderly, but middle-aged Americans also are getting this. Some of those are spontaneous. We're also seeing it following a viral infection. And the worrisome thing is that not a lot of people are vaccinated. The middle-aged folks need it even now, and so the new recommendations are, instead of age 65 and up, as age 50 and up should get a pneumonia vaccine. So new, new recommendations come out there. Also, children under age five should also consider getting vaccines. So talk us through these vaccines. I understand there's possibly different kinds. Which specific ones are being recommended and which ones we should we look for? Yeah, this gets confusing. There are a fair number of pneumonia vaccines out there. The newer ones are the pneumococcal 20, pneumococcal 22. Both those are good. Both those are lifetime vaccines. That's the one that you want to get. If you've had the older ones and it's been more than a year, you should get one of these newer ones. Again, pneumococcal 20, pneumococcal 22. 21, 21. One thing that I think a lot of people makes them a little nervous about getting the vaccine are the side effects. Are there any cautions or what side effects possibly do we see from these vaccines? Yeah, they're not a big deal, Chris. Maybe a sore arm. A few folks get some fever, muscle aches, little fatigue. That usually lasts just a day or two. So not a lot of big side effects with these. And just to reassure, this is not a live vaccine. So you cannot get pneumonia from the pneumonia vaccine. So we got the pneumonia vaccine. Also, it's that time of year where people are getting their flu shots. Is it OK to get these two vaccines at the same time? If you've been in the military, you know you can get up to 10 vaccines at the same time. So yes, you can get them all together. You can get a flu shot, you can get a pneumonia shot, you can get a, even get a COVID shot at the same time. Pneumonia can be a nasty infection. You don't want to get it. The vaccines do work. In fact, I got my Halloween friend here to testify. The vaccines are important. <laughs> he didn't get one, Chris. <laughs> we do not want to end up like him, Dr. David Winner. And friend joining us this midday, a cautionary tale, although I like the hat. Thank you very much for joining us, as always, Dr. David Winner. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Good to be with you.